Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is part two of our three-day backpacking trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. As you'll see in the video, there's just like some amazing stuff to see out here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Still can't get the top of it in. <laughs> Um, you guys just kind of have to get out here, you know, for yourself. Um, there's only so much size that you can fit, you know, into the camera lens when you're standing so close to it. So, you know, you get like way more of an appreciation for it, you know, actually being out here than you will watching it on TV. So um, there's a ton of stuff that's accessible, you know, even if you're not a backpacker and you can't put in like, you know, high mileage days, there's still a bunch of, you know, very doable day hikes out here. Um, you can get out here and check out some of this awesome geology. So highly recommend you do it. All right, last water crossing before Hanson's Point. Time to fill up. <clears throat> Full on water, I'm carrying four liters and I think Sarah's carrying about one and a half so five and a half liters of water ought to last us the rest of the night um, and pretty much all day tomorrow hopefully yeah we're all cameled up and ready for the rest of the trip For those of you who saw the last two Red River Gorge videos, this should look familiar. To those of you who have not, I'll go ahead and link them down in the description box. But this spot's pretty cool.
right, ladies and germs. Welcome to home for the evening. It's a little fire ring. We're undecided on fire. Um, I want to make one, but I don't know if there's going to be any wood up here to have. Uh, I got all of our stuff laid out, making food right now. A lot of water. It's like five and a half liters of water we hauled up here. Uh, there's Sarah's home in the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. Got Nemo Tensor Pad in there. Uh, what else we got? You got my 20 degree war bonnet quilt. I'm over here in the hammock setup as always with the war bonnet blackbird and then all war bonnet quilts, war bonnet tarp. And then I just recently changed out the um, suspension on my hammock and um, this is actually a Beckett hitch. Um, these straps right here, they don't use any buckles or anything like that. These straps weigh two ounces and they're super long. They're 15 feet long a piece, so I could hang pretty much anywhere. Um, but just swapping out like that suspension system though, uh, saved me like six ounces. And then this is my Dyneema Cordage, also from War Bonnet, and I'm using their tarp ticks to attach to the tarp here. And then the only thing that's not war bonnet is these are actually um, Hennessy hammock snake skins, but one day I'll probably get war bonnet just because I feel bad that I, uh, you know, use the Hennessy hammock ones. And then uh, unfortunately we do have neighbors. Um, I guess I shouldn't say unfortunately because we haven't met them yet. They could be very nice people. Um, but obviously we like our, our privacy. It doesn't really feel like backpacking when it's, you know, this accessible, but um, you know, it's still, it's beautiful out here, guys. I mean, take a look. Bunch of color up here. Beautiful sky. Beautiful sun. Beautiful woman. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll gather enough stuff for a fire, but, you know, this place is super popular, and just trying to find enough wood um, is going to be a pain, so we'll see. How you feeling? A little beat up. A little beat up? Yeah. Red River Gorge will do that to you. Yeah, it's a lot better trails today. Um, put in a lot of mileage though. I mean, we did, uh, I didn't look at it, but I think we finished with um, somewhere around like 11 miles today or something like that. Another dehydrated chicken meal. Special ingredient for the uh, chicken fajitas. Got some Fritos. Well, 10 was too much, so we're gonna do eight. So this is our chicken fajita. I got the Tostito scoops. Pretty good. Kinda wanna put some Tabasco in it or something. A Little bit apprehensive about leaving three thousand dollars a gear sitting back out there at camp but um i will trust that most people will do the right thing uh and not be so bold as to try to steal something uh, especially whenever there's you know people set up beside us too so um still haven't seen them so they must be out at hansen's point or they're day hiking someplace else but yeah we're gonna like a half mile walk uh don't have any packs or anything we're just gonna go check it out and then come back and hopefully try to start a fire we'll see like i said the wood situation is looking pretty slim pickings we are back youtube hansen's point this is literally one of my favorite places in the world uh, second time I've been here now. This place is freaking sweet. Just walk out here on the this rock point out here. It's freaking awesome. Look at this uh, this 360.
look all the way over there on that other point. <laughs> it's people looking at people standing on points. You know, this guy's bad at camouflage. He's up here on the only place where he doesn't blend in with anything. Want to be on YouTube, buddy? <laughs> oh, pff, apparently not. a uh, stick bug and he found the pile of sticks. It's moving. Time to say goodbye to our beautiful campsite up on Hanson's Point. Slept like a dream last night. Got up, saw a nice sunrise, and uh, now it's time to hit the trail, go see Gray's Arch, and get on out of here. All right, everybody, we are Oscar Mike for day three. Going to swing by Gray's Arch. We only got about four miles out this morning. We're gonna stop by Gray's Arch, get some shots there, and then we actually have a uh, guy picking us up because we did like a point to point. We didn't do a loop. I wanted to see like, you know, a part of Red River Gorge I haven't seen before. And in order to do that, we just did like a point A to point B type of deal. So I'm gonna have this dude uh, pick us up and drop us back off the car. And um, if he's good and he's reliable, um, I'll put the link <laughs> in the description down below. And uh, if he's not good and he's not reliable and we're stranded at Gray's Arch, then I'll also put the link in the description uh, to make sure that you avoid, <laughs> you know, using his services. But uh, we'll see you guys at Gray's Arch. Uh, this is the only like four miles of trails on this trip that's the same as the last trip, but it was worth coming to check out again, man. It's freaking just the size and scope of everything down here is just enormous. Makes you feel small. This is why it's cold rough trail <laughs> just a scramble not really a trail per se everything out here is just so big you guys really need to get out here and hike out here yourselves so you can appreciate the size and scale of this You know it's big when you can't get it in the wide angle.
tell you what, the uh, carved staircase is a nice touch, but at this point, the uh, really like to see it. Escalator be nice. Not gonna lie. We uh, climbed all the way up out from the valley bottom. It's been a pretty big ascent. I think the biggest one of the trip. Smile for you too, buddy. These roots didn't make it into the last video, so they're gonna make it into this one. Dude, the uh, scale of this thing is unreal. Unreal. We'll go up to the arch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up another three days and two nights in the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. Uh, this place is awesome. Got to see a lot of cool things. Uh, glad we got to see a nice sunrise at Hanson's Point and uh, just a great trip. As always, guys, you know, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys weren't watching the videos and subscribing to the channel, it wouldn't exist. Anything you can do helps. If you like the trip, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me about your backpacking experiences. Uh, if you want to interact with Sarah and I, uh, you know, like one level deeper, uh, go ahead and join our Facebook group. It's called Backpacking Ohio and Beyond. Uh, we're going to start like an annual backpacking meetup. Uh, we might do it on like Memorial Day weekend or something. Right now, it looks like it's going to be in Dolly Sods, West Virginia. We'll probably do like three days, two nights or something like that and uh, start making it an annual event. Best thing you guys can do is obviously subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, we're almost back to the trailhead uh, here with Avery from Red River Outfitters. If you guys are looking for somebody to transport you back and forth on your trip, go ahead and look him up on Facebook. Uh, guy was here 20 minutes early, really nice guy, runs really smooth operation. So if you're looking for some transportation, go ahead and hit him up. You won't be disappointed.